welcome back to my channel. This is Olivia. How are you all? In today's video, I will finally show you how to do a iridescent bubble background, and it is really, really easy and effective. Um, by the way, there will be a surprise at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned. And so for the background, I will use black acrylic. You will also need brushes. Uh, I'd recommend you use the brushes for acrylic and not watercolor. And also I will use Prismacolor pencils. You can use any other pencil that you have, but I found the Prismacolor is the best. And of course water and a mixing plate. And the most important thing is a white gel pen. And for this demonstration, I will use Lost Ocean by John Hanna Bass first. And this is the page that I will do. Uh, make sure you put a piece of paper that's fairly uh, a bit larger than the page uh, that you're working on, just to uh, help stop the uh, acrylic on the when you do the edges going through other page and make them stuck together. And so. Um, uh, I will just squeeze a little bit of uh, the black acrylic out on the blade. A lot of people have asked me in the past how do I achieve a, a black background that is very um, like really black and you know very evenly applied and um, there is no secret I just use black acrylic. Uh, make sure when you mix the acrylic, um, just add in a tiny bit of water, not a lot, just enough that you can help your brush wet and keep the pen um, running. It's not runny, running. <laughs> so, uh, because if you mix too much water in, it will dilute the pen and it will not black enough and it's sort of look translucent look a little bit dirty um, and we want like a really black background so just add in a tiny bit of water um, we will use mostly just a paint itself and the brush I'm using is actually for watercolor brushes but um, I I couldn't find where my my acrylic brush uh, is um and uh, so i just use this one but it's okay because um i don't use it very often it's not one of my good watercolor brushes, so i don't really worry about it that much but um i would highly recommend you just buy a cheap brush or just brushes for acrylic and not use it together with the watercolor because it might ruin your brush um yes and at the beginning, uh, I did show you there is a flat brush one. Um, the one that I'm using now is a brow brush. And uh, you can, I think if you are a beginner, the flat brushes will um, be a little bit easier for, to, for you to use. Um, but yeah, just uh, make sure you have kind of different size of brushes. Uh, just in case you need to go in a little bit and pieces of detail, a little corners of the illustrations that is uh, very tiny. And um, yeah, just make sure uh, you you go in fairly quick. Um, I would say because of the acrylic paint, it dry really, really quite quickly so I would highly recommend that you do quite quite fast like not really fast but uh, fairly fast so uh, all the layer will dry evenly and not like blotchy um, but yeah that is all the concern that I have when you use acrylic uh, make sure you don't use too much water if you want a really dark background if you want just like the light background then I uh, think you can add more water just add in a little bit so um, you know you don't ruin the the wall the paper uh, because the paper is probably not cannot handle a lot of water I haven't tried uh, any 
wet medium on uh, John Hanna book yet so I'm not really sure if they can handle water uh, but yeah I kind of worry to try it on just in case um, yeah it's not it's not worth it to to ruin a book if I don't have to <laughs> um, and yeah so you just go in with the acrylic like just cover the whole background I use a round brushes because I'm kind of used to this brush already but if you're not used to um, like use just one brushes then I recommend you have uh, different size of brushes the smaller one and a little bit bigger one for bigger spice and the small one for the small spices um, and uh, the good thing about acrylic background why i choose acrylic background is because they are acrylic is fairly a cheap medium if you use for just coloring book you don't need to buy expensive acrylic at all this acrylic i just bought from uh, cheap a cheap uh, it's a cheap shop in here in australia it's really cheap i think it was about like two two dollars like a tube for I don't know how how many milli milli i think it's maybe 24 or something like that yeah so it's it's such a cheap price and you can do it quite quickly um it dry quick and also uh when when you use acrylic is uh, very it's give the paper a lot of tool for your pencil to go on as well so here as you see um I starting to go in with the bubble and as I just say the pencil show on really really well on the the background the black acrylic and make sure uh, you wait for the background to dry before you go in with the pencil um, so just uh, as you can see I just go in round circle it says complete circle but it's not round um, you, it's look like you uh, you draw but you don't know how to draw a, uh, a proper circle but if you draw this way even the it's weekly uh, line it still look really natural because in real life bubble is not um, not a round circle it's not a perfect round so I highly recommend you just really lose with your uh, drawing uh, just make the is make it connected but uh, but don't make it round circle of course you can make round circle if you want to but i just want to show you if you want to make it more more of the natural look and don't over crowd uh, the the page as well uh, spray the bubbles as you go uh, don't put don't draw too many at one little space and you can kind of draw them uh, kind of overlap a little bit as well it will look a little bit more natural and now we actually go in to add color for these bubbles and I will just uh, use one bubble here to just do a quick demonstration for you and it's really easy so you go in with the cerulean blue uh, it is a nice bright true blue and you just add in a little bit on the um just around the edges all the colors will be just around the edges and now you go in with the pink um i like a pink color but it's called bronzed red um yeah so when you go in you can go medium the the, the paper would take the pencil really really well because it's gonna have a lot of tooth for the pencil to go on because it's quite rough surface um and then i go you can use a light aqua or true green uh, either one is all right you don't have to use both but in this page uh, i usually i usually like mm, a few of the bubble i use light aqua and a few of them i just use true green but here's the color i using is a light aqua and as you can see um I just go on the around the edges of the bubble and um, with the golden rod you can you just go on top just lightly add a little touch of it on top of the green or the light aqua 
or on the blue if you want to so it's not really something very um, hard to do just make sure when you go in as you go in the middle of the bubble make sure you fight it out um, make it blend in with the black so like when you go when you start it off you go with the medium pressures and then as you go in the middle you will uh, go really really light pressure because we want to reserve the when to reserve the black in the middle it just help the when we add in the white uh, gel pens and everything else it will look like the bubble is translucent and not just a blob of colors and so um, now I just go in uh, and add an order color for the bubbles and the easiest way that I find uh, that's just not mm, gonna uh, confuse you because as I say you can add random colors all the colors that I choose here for you guys is I already testing them out with trial and error so I know that all of them can go can mix quite quite well so you don't have to worry that um, this color has to be this next to this color and whatever uh, they're gonna mix really really well but um, usually I like the pink at next to the blue and then I going with the green or the light aqua and then I going with the golden rod the orange color on top of the green um, because I think it it bring out the best combinations and um, for the first color when you add down like the blue the earlier I add down you can go um, on the left you can go on the side you can put on the top on the bottom you can add in a few like edges it doesn't matter where you add them you can you just make sure you add them quite randomly and not like so systematic uh, that way it look it will look more dimensions and it will look more interesting and not just like you know the same um, the same look of bubbles just for all of them and here as uh, this bubble here you see i using the true green instead of light aqua and it it doesn't matter it's it will still look nice it's just adding a little uh, different touch for your bubble and it just doesn't look like all of them is the same because sometimes when they um even under the sea is have different light source as well and depends on where you look at them um you will see different colors on the bubble but i just want to make the have the blue and the pink is the priority colors and the light aqua or the true green it just add in more for um, more more of you know variety and dimensions it just look more nicer so yeah i think even if you are a beginner you still can do this really really easy and nothing hard at all so don't worry uh, i know sometimes when you look at the the end result of um you know of a coloring page and you get really really confused and you think uh, you will never achieve that uh, but trust me this is really easy and i think anyone and everyone can achieve this look and i know that a lot of you guys have trouble with backgrounds and um you know achieving background colors so i'm really glad that i can show you the really easy way and i hope and i glad that you find them really helpful for you so i'm very happy about that and now we're gonna go the most important touch for our bubble it's like we give them a little makeup uh, we're gonna use white gel pen and it's really really easy you just need to lie your bubble just just lie your bubble around and then as you go inside you will draw a few um, bean shape like so and then just add in a few lines just along the edges and don't add too many just uh, really loose with your hand again uh, please don't you know 
try to make them round or make them perfect like you don't have to you just need to really lose with your hand it will look more effective that way and I think it's really really important to use a good white gel pen for this technique Big, um, my favorite one is the one that I'm using right now which is a Uniball Signal Pro gel pen and the white is really really bright and nice and opaque that's make the um the the bubble is stand out a lot more uh, i have been i have using other white in the past but i don't really like any of them until i um i i got this one and i really really like this gel pen and i stuck with them uh, stuck with it until now yeah so that's all you do for all the bubble you do just the same process uh, repeat and add in the white when you add in the white it will look a lot different and it will bring out the highlights and it just doesn't look like it's just a blob of <laughs> colors a weird circle that just floating around your fish uh, so don't worry at the side it might look funny um, and you will like not uncertain if you're gonna ruin this page so don't worry keep going don't be scared um, and you will able uh, to see the really good result at the end and um, thank you so much for uh, everyone that uh, wish me better I know the last few weeks that I haven't put out a lot of videos but yeah um, I hope that I can get better and I will come back with more videos for you guys um, and um, by now uh, I can maybe at least bring out one or two videos a week but not too much yeah so uh, go back talk back to the background uh, I, earlier I was saying that um, you know like how the acrylic why I use acrylic um, there is another way to you to do a black background I'm pretty sure uh, Peter Hewitt did invented the, uh, the technique I think she used a uh, normal a cheap pen black pencil add for the base colors and then she used the Fable Castell pit pen to go on top and uh, I tried that technique and it's worked really really well and I think it is more a safer way to do it. Um, if you're not really good with brushes or you're not really good with uh, using a wet medium and you're scared to ruin your page but um, just a heads up that it will cost a lot more than the uh, Fibro Castell pit pen is quite an expensive pen and I think like for small uh, page is it will be okay but like for a bigger area like you know like compared to the page that John Hannah book uh, John Hannah Calzone uh, it will I think you will probably use uh, half of your pen for like just one background and yeah so I don't really use that method a lot and it will take quite a time as well so you still you know like the pen tip is quite small it's not gonna be as quick as uh, using uh, paint to to paint it's a lot quicker and uh, I think you can no use a uh, normal pencil as well but uh, trust me it won't go show through the pen the pencil on top of the black background if you use a uh, bitter hair with white or just do a normal black pencil like black background with black pencil uh, because it does have the wax uh, is not enough uh, tool for the pencil to show through so I think for my method and you know how I do my bubbles uh, this is the best way you can do a uh, quick and easy uh, other way you can achieve the look is maybe use soft pastel uh, I wouldn't use black soft pastel because it's probably going to be muddy but if you use a light blue it will look quite alright and uh, 
um, the pencil will able still to show it through but just the heads up that it not gonna be show at vividly like as what your eyes won't be it won't be in, as impressive as if it's on a black background um, so that's all the little um, things and tips that I want to give you if you don't want uh, to use a black acrylic you, there is other option but I just think it's, it won't be as good as the, the acrylic one and you know how these combinations um, come out and yeah um, thank you so much for uh, supporting me <laughs> I got a lot of comment lately and uh, I will finish the uh, the Apple house soon um, I already filmed it but I haven't editing it yet but yeah I will finish it soon and another um, thing I want to say is uh, um, what I wanna say? Oh, I just saying, yeah. Today is when I the day I filmed this video. It's really really cold in Australia. I think it's finally uh, starting to have a feel of a winter coming. Uh, when everywhere else is summer, Australian Australia is that uh, going to winter, and it's my favorite uh, time of the year. So I like winter and summer. Ah, uh, not summer, winter in all times because summer I got summer and spring I got really bad hay fever and it's really really hot it's a dry hot so I don't really uh, enjoy it that much here uh, so I love winter and it raining today it feel really really gloomy but I think it's perfect it's just a perfect weather just to put on some nice relaxing music and just coloring away and you know just enjoying the moment uh, so I hope you are doing well as well I know a lot of uh, a few of my subscribers uh, uh, got a bit sick lately so I hope you get better soon and can go back with your uh, coloring hobby or whatever hobby uh, very very soon and so we are nearly nearly done now at the end of this video I have a little surprise for you I don't think it's a surprise anymore because I been giving hint and uh, we've been talking about it a lot but yeah I said when I reach 2000 subscribers I will do another um, a coloring page for uh, for you to download to all of my subscriber thank you thank you so much for uh, all of you that came that been surprised for me from the beginning and all of you that uh, is a new subscriber thank you so much for all your love and all your sweetness all your kindness uh, i'm very very grateful so in uh, last time when i give out the free apple page i give out to everyone and i found out that uh, someone had took the page and sell it resell it on etsy uh, I already confronted that person and he already took he or she I'm not really sure um, so that person already took the page down but I do this as um, you know just want to as a little gift and thank you to you all I don't want anyone to make money out of it so I will have to ask you uh, to just send me email and uh, give me the name of your youtube so i can search and make sure that you are one of my subscribers and yeah i will only strictly give it to uh, my subscriber on youtube so the background is nearly nearly done now um we're just gonna finish up the circ the bubbles and at the end i will use the white gel pen just add in a few circles and dot uh, just to add an extra bubble and it is done i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, this time for the 2000 subscriber i draw a coloring book and you can say coloring book and then i draw a few coloring pencil colors pencil and when the book open is open into a 
a bloom of flowers and butterfly that come out from the book and i think it just really really fits with all of our colorists and so i hope you will enjoy this uh, coloring page as well if you would like to have this coloring page uh, please contact me through my email send my email and tell me that you are the subscriber of my channel so uh, i hope you enjoy this video and thank you thank you so much um, to watch the video and enjoy my content uh, i will come back with more video if you like this video please thumbs up subscribe and i will see you very soon in the next video in the meantime take care and happy coloring bye